हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस लेक्चर इज अबाउट द शॉर्टकट मेथड ऑफ मेकिंग पर्सपेक्टिव यूजिंग मेजरिंग पॉइंट मेथड सो फॉर दिस व्हाट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू सेट अप द थिंग्स दैट यू हैव टू डू इन द पर्सपेक्टिव दिस इज दिस लाइन इज हॉरिजन लाइन एंड दिस लाइन इज आल्सो एक्टिंग एज अ पिक्चर लाइन दिस इज स्टेशन पॉइंट and uh, i have marked the uh, uh, vanishing point left and vanishing point right using 30 and 60 degree as an angle you can see this is 30 degree angle and this is uh, 60 degree angle and place the object this is the object this is the plan which have uh, 600 mm dimension plan of a of a cuboid this is the elevation of the cube uh, cuboid or you can say this is a cube having 600 mm as a dimension so when we place the object like this then if station point is like this then this will be the vanishing point left right, and vanishing point right but in shortcut method we don't need to put uh, the object on the picture plane so then we have to mark measure point so taking this as a Vanishing point as a center and VPL and SP as a radius. We will mark vanishing point right. And similarly for vanishing point left, uh, we will do the same. So these two points have been created: uh, measuring point left and measuring point right. Taking vanishing point at the center and the vanishing point and station point as the radius. So these two points have been created. So uh, then, what we have to do? We have to vanish the uh, the object. To, the point of the object was touching the picture plane. So the true height will be this. Will be on this side. So and then uh, the object is placed on the ground. Hence, it will start from this place. So I have vanished this point to the vanishing point left and vanishing point. right then what we have to do uh, then uh, uh, we have to mark the the dimensions of the side this this is the side which have 600 dimension so for marking this i will make a grid of 600 mm or you can see this is the, the length of one uh, grid is 100 mm So this starting from this one, two, three, four, five, six, and here also one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are now I will mark it one, uh, one, two, three dimension of the grid two, three, four, five, and six. So six this way, right, and this six left. one is remaining so i will extend it and similarly in the vertical direction the grid one in the horizontal direction and another is the vertical direction so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so now for making uh, 6 cm in perspective we will take marker 6 this is the 6 cm length in the horizontal direction join with measuring point right and from here also join with measuring point left whatever dimensions of the side will be there we have to join from that only So now the height is six centimeter. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this point is six centimeter point. This we will join with vanishing point left. And here, for making other side, we will mark this to the vanishing point right. Now what we have to do? We have this point which is saying that this length is six centimeter in perspective. So this is the point. Where the uh, it ends, the length of six centimeter ends in perspective. So we will make we will uh, extend a line from this 
to form this face. This is the left face of the cube and this is the right face of the cube. And then for making uh, the upper face, we will join this point to the vanishing point. Right and this point to the vanishing point left and here this point to vanishing point right and this point to vanishing point left and we will get the cuboid using measuring point method. These are the measuring points, measuring point left and measuring point right. Let's see this by joining the these this point to left and right this point to left vanishing point. So we get this upper face and draw the object. These are the uh, these lines are the construction lines. So I will highlight the object now using the object layer. the object is visible and it has been made using the shortcut method. Now the another method is uh, we will make another object in which the uh, object has been raised from the ground 400 raised from the ground. Um, for making the object above the ground that is 400 mm, we have to make a line that is 400 above the ground and copy that grid on that line like this. And then the method is same. Uh, for this point, what we have to do, we have to join the vanishing point right, vanishing point left, vanishing point left, vanishing point left, and then to mark the to mark the 6 cm length on these two lines we will join increase the height that is of uh, 6 cm this is 1, 2, 3, 4 and then again above that it becomes the 10 cm so above this line the cube is 6 cm we have, we have added the upper upper point also to the vanishing points. Now to mark the length of 6 cm in the perspective, we will join this point, point to the measuring point left and measuring point right. And this is the length uh, of 6 cm in perspective. And then we will create this line from this where it intersect on, on the uh, vanishing lines. We will make vertical lines. So this face, left face has been created and this is the right face of the cube that has been created. And highlight the cube using the object layer. So you can see these are the back faces shown in another method in which it is the object has been placed above horizon line. So now the same grid, this grid has been copied 9 cm above the ground line and then this grid is extended to have the 6 cm length above this line where Q is ground line se upar extended. The same method from the point it is touching the uh, picture plane assuming that the point, this point is touching the picture plane we will join these lines uh, ground line to the vanishing point and the above 6 cm above that point we will again join these points to the vanishing point. To mark the 6 cm we will join this point to 
this point to this vanishing uh, measuring point this 6.2 this measuring point uh, line right and this point to left measuring point this to this and this to this we will, from where wherever it cuts wherever it cuts these from that point we will draw the vertical line from this here and from this here this point we will this is the point from where it is touching so from here i will join like this and then using object using object uh, line we will highlight the cube that has been made in perspective so you can see this is how we have highlighted the cube that has been made through perspective you can see this is cube that has been made highlighted it these are the hidden lines of the cube another method is the method when the cube is passing the picture plane and projecting in front of the station board so this is the if this is the picture plane this is the placement of the cube then what we have to do this is the this is the line of station point line from station point touching the uh picture plane or the horizon line and this is the point where the object is cutting the uh, picture plane so the true height of the object will be at this point only you can see the true height of the object will be at this point so what we will do we will pass the line from this from this point wherever this point is touching the ground and make the grid of 6 cent, uh, 6 cm or 600 mm here we'll make the 600 uh, 60 cm or 600 mm we will we'll make the grid here and this point i'm saying this point is 2 cm this length is 2 cm so this is approximate i have taken 2 cm where wherever it is cutting it is 2 cm away from the station point so grid has been created and uh, at the ground wherever it touch this uh, line has been created connecting to the vanishing point right and wherever it touch this this line jahan pe station point ki line hai jo station point se picture plane tak ya fir horizontal line tak draw kari gayi hai jahan pe bhi ye touch kar raha hai us point pe jahan pe bhi ye touch kar raha hai us point se leke we will match the uh, this point to the vanishing point right we have created this line by using this so we have got this point this line and this one now we have to make the uh, line of 6 cm in perspective on this line and on perspective on this one so by doing this for making the 6 cm length in the perspective we will join this point to the measuring point uh, right and and this 6 meter length 6 point in the horizontal plane we will mark uh, join this point to the measuring point left so wherever it cuts this two lines which we have made this line which is uh, joining the vanishing point so this is this is the length of the uh, 6 cm or 60 cm length in perspective and this this side this is the 60 cm length in perspective from these two point we will make the horizontal line again uh, 6 cm jahan pe bhi khatam ho raha hai us point se we will make 
uh, we will join this point to the vanishing point right and wherever it touch this this line station point uh, se jo line aa rahi hai wahan pe jahan pe jahan pe bhi touch kar raha hoga fir wahan se we will join this point to the vanishing point left so this is how the cube which has been placed like this can be made and you can see this has been projected out and the shape of this cube is bigger than the uh, actual shape because it the the cube has been projecting out now we will highlight the object within the object layer so no need of making this object in the picture plane is required that is why this is called shortcut method we only have to decide ki kya position hai hamare station point ki ya ya uh, object ki respect to the picture plane and then we by using this uh, measuring point method we can measure the points on the this uh, perspective lines using this measuring point method and and can make a perspective of any object i hope uh, you have understood the all these methods of making perspective so the method is the same but uh, the position of the uh, cube is different in all these uh, in all these cases so i have so i have uh, shown you how it is done now i will make one point perspective using the same measuring point method in this again this is the object this with the, the same object i will make the perspective this is how we place the object in one point perspective so for uh, making the measuring points i have joined the station point to vanishing point and then taken uh, taking a uh, vanishing point and station point as the radius and vanishing point as the uh, center i have drawn a circle so wherever it meets the horizon line the measuring points are marked on the left and on the right respectively so we don't need this uh, object on the picture plane because this is a shortcut method we only need an elevation as it is placed on the picture plane we have assumed that object is placed on the picture plane so the elevation which is there uh, uh, on the picture plane it will be same in the one point perspective we will join the lower most point to the vanishing point and we need the length of 6 cm in perspective on this line this is the vanishing point uh, uh, these are the vanishing lines of of left and right faces so what we will do we will join we will take 1 2 3 4 5 6 cm and join this point to measuring point left similarly 1 2 3 4 5 6 cm and we will join measuring point to the this point to the right so this this face is 6 cm in perspective and again this face this line is 6 cm in perspective so for making above face we will again join these two points to the vanishing point and wherever these two points we get as a measuring point as a measure from the measuring point we will join this we will make vertical lines and this is how we can make the above face and highlight by using the object layer this is the upper face this is the lower face and this is the face at the back of the this is the back face of the cube shown with hidden lines the comparatively making one point perspective uh, using measuring point method is very easy this is how you see this cube has been again similarly like two point perspective i raised the cube uh, for uh, 400 mm above the ground so this is the elevation so this elevation now will be raised 400 above the ground and again this is 6 cm this is 
six centimeter length. So when we have to mark the other faces of six centimeter similarly in the previous, we will join this to uh, measuring point left and measuring point right. And for making uh, upper face, we will join these two point to vanishing point. These two point to vanishing point. This point we have got. This is the length of six centimeter in perspective. So we will make vertical lines and above face can be made. So you can see this is how it has been made. So like uh, two point perspective, the grid has to be copied, but it is the same. So uh, I have not copied it. This, uh, this grid has to be copied above also, but uh, the length of the cube uh, is uh, similar in, in all the directions. So I have not copied, I have taken this as a reference point. These two points are the reference point. If it has a different dimension, then you have to copy this grid to the level uh, to which it has been traced. So, Another method in which it has been uh, above the above the horizon line, the cube has been placed above the horizon line. I have write, written this as a picture plane because I have uh, marked the station point also. That is why I have write, written this line as a picture plane also. Otherwise, this is horizon line only for the shortcut method of uh, using measuring point. Method. So similarly, we will join lower points to the vanishing point, upper to the vanishing point and then this to the uh, measuring point left, this to measuring point right, this, this is the length of the uh, uh, 6 cm length in perspective, this is 6 cm length in perspective, upper face can be made like this and highlight, highlight the object. Method is the same, again we have to follow, we have to uh, copy the grid and paste on this line. As all faces were of 6 cm, I have taken this square uh, as a reference. Back faces with hidden lines. So you can see the cube has been made using the measuring point method of making uh, perspective, which is above placed above the horizon. Now we have to make a uh, uh, perspective using again a shortcut uh, method uh, that is measuring point method in which uh, one point perspective in which this uh, the cuboid is uh, uh, crossing the picture plane and it is extending beyond the picture plane that is 200 mm. So we have to make the uh, perspective uh, considering this situation. So uh, the figure is same, the cube is same, uh, it is extended beyond the picture plane 200 mm. Uh, so the, uh, the line that is passing through this point, at this point, the elevation is as the true elevation. So we have copied this, uh, this elevation as a true elevation. So this point, at this point, it is having the true elevation. Uh, then uh, like the previous one what we will do we will join this point to vanishing point this one point to vanishing point this to vanishing point and this point to vanishing point to get to make the faces like this you can see we have joined this to vanishing point and again from this to this to vanishing point through construction lines this blue line to vanishing point and this line After that, what we will do, we will count हमको यहाँ से यहाँ तक जो distance चाहिए perspective में वो है 400. So what we will do, we will count 1, 2, 3, 4 and join this point to the measuring point. And then again from this side also 1, 2, 3, 4 and join this point to the measuring point right. So, what, so wherever they will cut the line uh, uh, joining the vanishing point, this length is 400 mm here and this length is 400 mm here. 
so i'm showing you through the grid when it is joining from 0 to this point then this length is 300 mm when it is joining 1 this is 200 mm then this then this point is joining uh, measuring point then this is 100 mm so that is how you can see i have created the grid you can see this this is how i have created the grid कि डेप्थ जितनी अंदर की तरफ है अगर वो 100 है तो ये पॉइंट लाइन यहाँ पे आ जाएगी अगर वो 200 है तो यहाँ पे आएगी 300 है यहाँ पे आएगी 400 है तो यहाँ पे आएगी और अगर 500 है तो अगेन वी विल ज्वाइन वी विल काउंट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड वी विल ज्वाइन दिस पॉइंट टू दी मेजरिंग पॉइंट एंड वी विल गेट दी पॉइंट हेयर इन विच द परस्पेक्टिव लेंथ इज और अब वो उसके आगे निकल रहा है तो हम क्या करेंगे ये वाले पॉइंट जो फोर और फाइव है क्योंकि जब हम फोर से ज्वाइन करके ये एक्सटेंड करेंगे ये वैनिशिंग पॉइंट को बाहर की तरफ ग्राउंड लाइन से तो ये थ्री से लेके जो फोर तक ये जो है लेंथ होगी फ्रॉम थ्री टू फोर इट इज अगेन हंड्रेड एम एम एक्सटेंडिंग बियॉन्ड द पिक्चर प्लेन एंड फ्रॉम दिस टू दिस इज हंड्रेड अगेन हंड्रेड एम एम अगेन फ्रॉम देयर टू देयर इट मेक्स टू हंड्रेड एंड यू विल मेक ग्रेट लाइक दिस so this is how you can see from this point to this point it is 600 mm jisme yahan pe ye wala jo jo square bana hai ye wo square hai jo ki picture plane se cut ho raha tha and now we will make horizontal line from this point to create the above faces see like this so this is how the face which is in front uh, of the picture plane 200 mm of in front of the picture plane this has been created and this face that is on the ground line this this square face is the cut portion from where the picture line has been drawn so uh, we will draw now the back portion of the from which we will create this horizontal line from here horizontal line from here and this is how this up, upward portion of the cube, cuboid has been created This is back face of the cuboid. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is how it has been created by creating a grid of 600 mm like this. And now it is highlighted using the hidden lights and the object. This is how it has been created. I hope. you have understood the uh, measuring point method and by this method we have uh, pos positioned the cuboid as various places above the picture plane above the ground uh, the picture plane passing through the object and shown how it is made through this this method so uh, you have enjoyed and learned this methods thank you